Let me preface this by saying I am 110% guaranteed idiot. Do not do anything that I do or repeat anything that I say. If you do, it's your own damn fault for being as much of an idiot as I am. Okay, quick and dirty video. Um, I'm just getting into powder coating. I had a buddy had a uh, old oven he tried to set up and electric and uh, had an old single voltage Eastwood when it was still hot coat and got old and was getting out of it and we've been wanting to maybe powder coat a few things. So I actually have only done a little bit of playing around testing in an oven, but he, uh, I bought from him his, you know, four by four by eight and in Florida electricity is expensive. So I decided I wanted to convert it after reading a bunch online to propane, picked up just a used Mr. Heater on eBay, um, cheap. But what I need to do is go ahead and convert it. So what I'm going to do is real quick go through kind of uh, the parts and pieces of this and how you know easy this is and what you're going to need. First thing is get you a Mr. Heater. Uh, this one, they're going to look all about the same. There's slightly different configurations. You're going to have your low and high setting here for how much gas you want coming in. Then you're going to have your press button that actually sticks out the back. And then you'll have your inlet for gas. So there's four screws right at the base, two on each side. I'm going to take those out. Those will be the only ones you have to take off for the sake of time. I've already done it. Then this bottom plate comes off. And this is where you're going to basically do all of your work. So when you open this up, uh, most of them, when you're getting ready to take it off, you're going to have to take this little low high off it's just got a screw in the middle that comes right out that's easy when you get ready to open this up this is what you're actually going to see in here you're going to have your high low you're going to have your gas that you have to depress the button and then you're going to have your inlet you want to take this whole assembly off what it should leave you with is there should be a um, quarter inch pipe here this is going to be the gas feed and then it should leave you with your thermocouple. This is the large connector here that goes into the one that is the button that you press and hold when you're starting it. Remove this entire assembly. Then what you're going to do is, what I did because I had one on hand, I used a 3 8 110 volt gas solenoid with, with the constant state of off. What that means is it's going to default to off all the time. You have to give it uh, an electrical charge in order to turn it on. Then all we're going to do is take a couple of fittings here. If you get the one quarter inch, which if, uh, I'll put a link up to that, then you're not going to need the adapters here. Um, you can just go quarter inch. The parts and pieces that you take out of here are already going to have an adapter that's made to go from that gas line to a quarter inch. So all you're going to do is take this new solenoid you're going to put a male to male one quarter inch NPT that's going to go into the um, flare adapter that goes into the gas feed that goes in then on this side what I did was I actually put a quick disconnect you don't have to do that but it makes it easy that way you can disconnect this unit it doesn't have to stay completely screwed in to whatever your uh, feed hose line is I got a 15 foot uh, propane appliance extension hose from Mr. Heater. Uh, that way I've got 15 feet. And then again, just put that uh, quick fit adapter on there that's made specifically for this. And then you can unplug it, bam, it's done. Then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this solenoid. What you've got here is your positive and, and negative. It's not, it's AC, but you've got your hot and your line. Those two come in off of your cord. All I'm gonna do is I'm going to tap this solenoid into my AC line that's coming in. What that's going to allow me to do is anytime that this goes hot, gas flows. The thermocouple you're not going to use anymore. It just stays in there. That's the only thing you have to do. Then what I did was I took my hole saw here and just cut a lined up hole in the back of the unit so that this would pop out 
so that I could do my little quick disconnect. So quick, undo one screw here, four screws on the base, remove the entire base unit, remove the entire piece that is the gas controller unit out, leaving the flare adapter on the gas inlet, get you that one quarter NPT solenoid, uh, constant state off, get you an adapter male to male quarter NPT to go to that flare, quarter inch NPT male to male, um, or in this case it would be quarter inch to three eighths so that I could jump up to the size necessary for the quick disconnect, and then I'm just going to tap it directly into the incoming line so that it comes on all at the same time. What that's going to do is as soon as this has power, that solenoid is going to pop open, fan's going to come on, and I'm going to get juice. The way you can test it before you hook it up to gas, plug it in. You should hear a loud pop, and then the fan will turn on. Now, this does need to be regulated, so when you connect it to your propane tank, don't get one of the high flow. Get an actual regulated, uh, the same way that you would have uh, if you were feeding a grill or anything else like that. If you go with an unregulated, it feeds too much and you wind up with a friggin' flamethrower. This thing shoots fire like 15 feet. It, it's just, it's too much propane and the air to fuel mixture is wrong. Um, I'll post some close up pictures of this stuff um, so that you got a little bit better. Uh, if you got any questions, uh, shoot it into the thing. The other thing I'm working on, of course, is then going to be the panel um, that holds my PID to control temperature and all that. That's real easy to go along with this. If you want, I could do a follow-up on what I'm doing to build that thing. Thanks, guys.